So the right ear is the one that's affecting you the most. I'm just going to tilt your head slightly over towards your left shoulder, just the oh, opposite left. Just there, that's perfect. Let's vacuum this out for you if you can. Big lump. Got a bit of hair in the way, but I'll work around that. I can't hear because some guy's got something stuck in <laughs> Look at that. That's what we got from your ear. Let's see if there's anything more hiding and lurking inside your ear. Yeah, you still got some more. I can hear that better. That's a good sign. So if I come in and out of your ear, it just means that my suction tube is blocked. I'm just blocking it. Reposition your head slightly, so just over towards your left. Right. That's all right. Yeah, just over to you're lying on a pillow. There. That's perfect. Those shooting fans that we made here, just the wax coming up the tube. Oh, why, why do we produce wax? Wax is a healthy substance. Is it? So it's slightly acidic. Right. The acidity of the wax can inhibit certain bacterial growth in the yeah. ear. And okay. actually the acidity repels insects and bugs from entering the ear. Wax is also sticky. So any foreign particles in the ear yeah. that enter the ear can stick to the wax. They wax, stick to it. Yeah, and wax generally comes out by itself. So it expels any dust or dirt that's entered the ear. And of course, wax is slightly greasy. Yeah. Therefore, it lubricates the ear canal wall, the skin, to prevent it from drying and cracking. People sometimes develop excessive wax, like you have in your case, for a number of reasons. It could be the ear anatomy. So if your ear is a bit narrow or twisty, as the wax is it's trying to come out... Sorry, I can't hear. What I'll do, I'll get this out and I'll explain it again. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is difficult to hear with me in the suction post. It's right up against your ear, John. Yeah, so deep in your ear, there's a narrowing of your ear canal. Is that? And the wax is stuck behind the narrowing. I'm just going to have to loosen that. Is it still there? You've just got a bit very deep in your ear. All the external wax has been removed. Just clear my suction. It's slightly blocked. I'll show you on the camera once I've done. There's yeah. a little narrowing in the wax. So the ear so narrows and it protrudes. I'm, I'm, I'm not a medical guy or whatever. I mean, I remember doing it at school. It's like, it's like three sections of your ear. The outer ear, middle ear, is it? And That's correct. So we're working with the outer ear. So the outer ear is the ear canal up to the eardrum. Right. But let's just get this out first because it might be a bit tricky and I'll explain it to you after. leaving it out. Yeah. You're finding that a bit uncomfortable, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, tender. And we're actually not even making contact with the ear canal, it's just the wax is it's plugged deep in your ear. Let me just use a slightly less suction power yeah. to see if I can extract that. So it's a bit more delicate when we go in the ear. Mm. But don't worry, we didn't make any contact there. We're just, we're just on the... Orifice, or are you just turning the pressure down? It's turning the pressure down, but I'm, I'm, it's possibly... When I use the big sucker like I was using, because you've got that plug and it's stuck behind the narrowing of the ear, I'm bringing out a bigger object through a narrow opening, so it's a bit uncomfortable for you. So I'm just going to use less pressure to yeah, gently so manoeuvre it. I had a friend that was a doctor, and he always said to me, he said, you know, he said, the body's just like a piece of mechanical equipment. It is. 
It is when you look at it. You got a pump. You got a filter. You got a, <laughs> you got a bit of engineering work. And that's really at the end of the day. But it's a bit flexible, and that's what you found. You've obviously got somewhere that's quite flexible. Exactly. I guess it's getting nice and still for this bit. I don't want to cause any discomfort. I'm just going to kind of wriggle it. So any discomfort you're feeling, it's not that, not because we're making contact. I can hear that going, or wherever it's. Yeah, it's that plug just stuck behind the narrow, it's very tricky to remove. But it's getting nice and still like you are. That's never going to come out with irrigation, is it? No, not this. What I'm going to do is just apply some drops in there, just to lubricate it. You've been using drops before, yes. but those drops wasn't penetrating to the deeper part no. of the wax. Mm. I can remove that just by persevering with a large sucker, but it might be uncomfortable, and I don't want to cause you any discomfort. So um, this will just lubricate it, so it'll be a bit easier. Concern. I don't like to do it. I'll, I'll put no, it. let's just put some drops in. It's a bit. It's, it's, it's better for us. So I'm going to put some drops in. It'll just lubricate it and hope. It's like when you've got a ring stuck on your finger. A bit of soap helps it to wriggle out. It is. And it would never come out with irrigation. This. It wouldn't. No. no yeah. So I'm going to suck some oil out first. around the hair so you can smear the camera. Do a lot of diving. Did I? Yeah. No, I've lived abroad for a number of years. Did a lot of swimming. I in cold water? Uh, yeah. I think you've got swimmers here. Uh, oh, what right. swimmers here is, deeper in your ear canal, you get bone, and you've got some bony protrusions where the wax is stuck behind. Oh. So it's a bit. Well, we lived in France, and that's not very warm, the water. Yeah. And then we moved to Spain. Sorry if it's a bit uncomfortable, but I just got to get the grip. There's no other way it's going to come out. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm glitched. No, it's fine. It's it's your ear, so it's it's impacted behind this narrowing. Is it still there? I've got some of it out. Let's go back to the fine end. See if I can. No, I mean I've I've, I've I've travelled a lot. Um, it's not a thing, although I come from a village where, when you know, probably know the village, um, Stony Stanton, yeah. where it's full of divers. Just gently working it out, so just bear with me. Just keep your head there and try not to move your jaw because when you move your jaw, it does actually constrict the air canal slightly.
just going to work from the top instead. See if I can roll the wax forwards. Wait, so you, you're rolling it forward? Yeah, from the top part. The top part's a bit wider, so I'm trying to get grip at the top of the wax now and roll it forward so it goes through that narrowing. So what we're kind of talking about, what size are we talking? You're, you mean the narrowing? No, the bit that you're trying to get it, at. It's just one last lump uh, yeah. near your eardrum. But it is a large lump, but as I said, it's behind this narrowing. I'll get it out, don't worry. shooting sound that made you jump there was it? It was what? Was that the sudden shooting sound that made you jump? Yeah. Yeah, just it's just the wax travelling up the tube. There it's look keep your head well, that that's it. You're trying to keep your head in that fixed position. That one? Yeah. Let's go tilt to that way a bit. But don't be concerned, we're not making any contact with the ear canal wall or your no, eardrum. I'm not, I'm yeah, not it's, worried, I'm just yeah. you know probably on just I'm, made you jump not, a bit that noise. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with the big sucker, there's no other way of getting this out. You're going to have to go what? With the big sucker. Oh right. Which way? Straight one or what? Yeah, that's it. Now, I do feel it's going to be slightly uncomfortable for you because okay. at the bottom part of your ear canal, it is a bit sore there because the wax is behind it. But, there's no other way really. I'm just trying to stay not don't try to move your, if you do hear a sudden noise, just trying to get your head still. I know it's easier said than done. Just trying to keep your head still if you can, we're just bringing it through. Yeah, I've got a big lump at the top, so you've got a big lump. Yeah, but it's still a bit in there. <laughs> But I can hopefully you work around it Your now. Your body produces the wax. Does it produce any other fluid? Well, uh, you mean in the ear? In the ear. Yeah, I was going to give a whole host of different answers to that question there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, just, so the wax is a combination of sweat and... Uh, so you get sweat glands in the ear and you get waxy glands and they mix. They amalgamate. But what I'm going to do, I'll explain it off to you. I'm just going to get this wax out because it's tricky.
tell you what, I'm not doing this before I think of it. So you should be hearing better because I can't see the top part of your eardrum. Try not to move your head. I know, again, if you're hearing sudden sounds, it is going to be slightly uncomfortable. There's no way around it, unfortunately, with your ear. But try to keep your head still. If it's uncomfortable, just stay so, and I can come out of your ear. So again, it's either said and done. Just keep your head still, it's coming. Let me just put a bit more drops in there. Might be a little fragment left. <laughs> I just saw it stay behind when I got that plug out. It's probably my brain. <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah, but this should be alright to get out. A little bit, um, it's hiding behind one of the bony protrusions, so I'm just going to bend my tube so I can go around that bony protrusion and I should get access to it. Bending it like Beckham. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to keep your head nice until for this last bit. Let's just have a look in your ear first. Yeah, just a little bit left.
fantastic. I got it all out. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Very complex. Got a bit near the entrance. Let's get that up. Well, I've had some really challenging cases the last few days. I'm sorry. Oh, I've had some really challenging cases the last few days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing better? I know you've got yeah, an underlying. I yeah. I know you've got an underlying hearing problem, yeah. so it's difficult. But how does that feel? Ten times better. So there is a bit of soreness um, on the section of the ear canal near your eardrum. Yeah. That's not because we made contact. We've made no, no contact. It's just because that wax was really impacted. It was building up and it was applying pressure. So I definitely do think... Is that think why I was getting the pain down my neck? Quite possibly, quite possibly. So I do think you've got a bit of swimmer's ear, and you mentioned previously that you used to swim in cold water. Yeah, I don't anymore. I, I must admit, swimming is not the, uh, the first thing that I do in life. So what happens is uh, the cold water enters your ear, and the outer part of the ear canal is made up of cartilage, but the, the last third or even half of the ear canal, it's literally skin on bone. That bone absorbs the water. The Isn't cold it? water. And so in the water you've got minerals and nutrients and that bone absorbs it and you get the bone it expands and it swells. You get almost bone spurs, what we call bony protrusions. Mm. There's normally three when you have swimmers here. One at uh, around one o'clock, one at four o'clock and one at around eight or nine o'clock. And what's happened, the wax got stuck behind those protrusions so it wasn't coming out. And it got built up, it built up, and it started applying pressure on your ear canal, which caused a bit of soreness, but that will settle itself completely. I'll show you an ear in a minute. The eardrum's fully visible. You had a bit of wax around, hiding behind the protrusion. I even got that out. I bent my tube and had to go around and right. get it out from that cravat, mm. which I got it. So, um, brilliant. Yeah, so your hearing will go back to how it was previously. I know you've, I said you've got this. Well, yeah, no, I've got it. I can accept that. But to be honest with you, now, I mean, I can hear... Brilliant. As I would, as before. That was very difficult, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> so let's turn you around and do the other side. Soho House there. Soho House? Yeah, it's where the Lunar Society used to meet. Have you heard Lunar, of them? As in the moon? No. The Lunar Society was a group of gentlemen in the uh, 18th century. Um, that used to meet on a regular basis and there were people like uh, Wedgwood, um, Darwin, um, all the kind of key brains yeah. of that time and they would all arrive in their uh, horse and carriage, they would all get together and they would have a meal and they would get totally drunk and then they'd sit around all through the evening and night and draw on pieces of paper of what they thought the next invention was going to be and what was going to happen and how it would happen and what it was just the excellent brains of the UK that got together and if ever you have a minute and look up the Lunar Society you'll be amazed at what these people designed and did and it's a big house and Hansworth is not a very well known place for being we say academic or whatever, it's more, now it's a bit of a, I don't know, not the most pleasant oh, place I, to be. Can um, I just, sorry, but, sorry. Just, just interrupt you. Yeah. Um, could I just look straight ahead for me? Yeah. Have you put cotton wool in your ear? It just definitely looks like cotton wool. I have. Just yeah. to, I, I, think, I, I think it's one of those um, uh, things that you, you do when you put, you, I put oil in there and put the cotton wool in. Now, I didn't realise that that's not what you do. I'm just going to prise it out. Oh, so it's still in there? Yeah, it's a huge amount. Is it? Oh, Christ. I could use crocodile forceps, but I think it'll just tear it. It's better to hook it. Look at I that. Can, it's I, just gone I can down hear it now. I, I can hear it. It's, it's yeah. just gone down your top. That's it. Hang on. You I've got, got it out. Look at that. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I first that, of That's how I started off, trying to clean my ear <laughs> You're just forcing the wax further in. Yes, I realise that now. Yeah, that's fine. It's no damage. Bit of dead skin. That will naturally. Is there any wax in there now? Um, it's not wax. It's just dead skin. That will naturally come out, but it's not blocking your ear. I can see the eardrum. Oh, so that one's all right. So when I when I when I looked at your ear originally, I said on your left side it looked. 
I thought it was, um, you'd been using OTEX or some hydrogen yes. peroxide drops and the wax had discoloured, or there might have been an infection, because it was oddly right. Is that right. the chunk that's come out? That's from your other side. Yeah. Your right side. A lot of it went up the suction probe there. Gosh. That's the right side. Isn't that horrible? It's, yeah, you see how dark it is? It's, yeah. It's been, been in your ear for a long time. But this, yeah. Is it, did it go dark is it, when it's in there for a long time? Yeah, it oxidises. Does it? Yeah. It's a bit like... Uh, Fruit, for example, uh, like my, avocados. My industry, it's uh, metal. So when metal oxidizes, it goes rusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I examined your ear initially, I thought that might have been an infection, some fungal infection. Oh, right, okay. Um, but it's just a plausible. Because I think I asked you about it. cotton birds and you said no, but obviously yeah. this is cotton wool. Yeah. And what it's done, it, yeah, I was a bit confused. I thought, what is that? Because if you've been using the drops in both sides, because yeah. the drops can discolour the wax, especially right. things like sodium bicarbonate drops, hydrogen peroxide drops, mm. but. Why wasn't it discoloured on both sides? I was a bit... I did mm. think at the back of my mind that could be something mm. else. And yeah, it was just a piece of cotton wool. My fault. That's all right. Uh, we live in the we learn. And that was a bit deep in your ear. You can see you put the drops in and then you, you, you put the cotton wool in mm. to kind of keep the drops in there. Mm. Uh, the best way to use drops see, is I how we use it. I thought it might be absorbing the, you know, the wax when it dissolved or did whatever. All it's doing actually is absorbing the drops and it's making it less effective. All right. So, uh, it's not your fault. Everyone needs to do it this way. Uh, the best way to use drops is how I did it on your right ear. Put the drops in, tilt your head to the side for five minutes. Let it run out. Let it run out. Come back to the way five minutes. How do you feel? Brilliant.